Hi, welcome back to the channel. This is Z here at Pink Ward Tarot. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, before I get into the reading, I just want to um, tell you guys that if you're interested in following me on social media, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Also TikTok too, um, at Pink Ward Tarot. If you want to connect with me on there. Um, yeah, on Instagram, I do like daily vibes. So it, it's like additional messages away from me doing like the um recorded messages or whatever for each sign so if you would like to follow me on there you can also too if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me all you have to do is just submit your info to um to my website the link is listed down in the description box below all you have to do is submit your info but make sure that you're putting in the correct email address because if you don't i won't be able to reply back so if i don't reply back that's probably why so just try to um like resubmit your info or you can just email me um that's listed down below too so let's see this is going to be for sagittarius um excuse me sagittarius sun moon rising and venus for september 2020 what messages do you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September 2020? Okay, so first card out. We got Love Yourself First. So Love Yourself First. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. What other messages do you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What other messages do you have for Sagittarius? What's this? Honeymoon. Okay. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And I keep seeing this It Is Safe For You To Love card. It was at the bottom of the deck twice when I put, when you know, when these two cards popped out. Whatever this is, Sagittarius, I feel like you could be either you are want either you are another person is wanting to spend time together here. But I feel like um whatever this is, it's like don't um don't forget your um your self worth here. It's like yeah, it is safe for you to love, but um like still have respect for yourself here for whatever reason i'm getting that's what i'm getting so far so give me one more for sagittarius sun moon rising and venus yeah give your relationship a chance i feel like somebody wants to work on a partnership here either you are another person um so it's just work on your partnership here it's like, yeah, even though somebody wants to come back together, I thought it could be a reconciliation. The reconciliation card didn't pop out, but it's like, love yourself first here and whatever the situation is. And don't forget your, um, your worth. So let's see. Clarify, love yourself first. Yeah, um, so. We got the death card that came out. There was an ending here with someone. And somebody could have been dealing with a Scorpio here. But there was an ending here. And I feel like somebody wants to like, um like revive here a connection they want to work on a partnership but i feel like um sagittarius like if you're a female sagittarius watching this and it's like it's kind of resonating a little bit like you was working on yourself here or it's like you went through a rebirth it's like you're not the same person so it's like when this person comes back around it's almost like like you know who you are and it's like you don't have to question your worth like you know 
um, your value here. Like you know that you're valuable here. Clarify love yourself first. It's like you change some way here, um, Sagittarius. And it's like the, this whoever this person is wanting to come back around here to work on a partnership. It's like they um they don't know the new you, Sagittarius. Like you're you're a new person. Clarify love yourself first. Clarify with yourself first. So we got the four of wands that came out. <sighs> yeah, somebody wants to come back here to a relationship here. They could be wanting commitment here. And I do feel like you're um someone's need, someone's like making a decision here, or they, maybe you already made a decision here, possibly about working on this um uh, partnership here. Clarify, honeymoon. Okay, we got the Four of Pentacles. See, um, with this Four of Pentacles right here, and this honeymoon, see, I feel like Sagittarius, like you were keeping to yourself, or this could be the other person, I don't know, just take it how it resonates. Like you've been keeping to yourself here, and it's like you changed a lot. So it's like maybe you're not opening up here. But um we got the magician card here too. So I do feel like one person's taking action here. They I feel like somebody could be trying to like manifest you or you you're trying to manifest somebody else here. They want to give back um into this relationship or partnership here. Clarify honeymoon. Yeah. We got a page of pentacles. That came out. So I do feel like somebody's coming in here. With an offer. Like they want to spend time together here. And I feel like somebody could have been holding on to you too. And I feel like. <laughs> I feel like this is your energy uh, Sagittarius. It's like you. You could have Aries in your chart too. But we got. Um. With this four of pencils, I feel like you, like, you don't really have to do that much. Like, this is making you look attractive here to somebody. Clarify, um, give your relationship a chance. Also, too, um, this just came to me. So, I do feel like... Somebody is wanting to come back here too, and it's like they want to enjoy some time together here. But I feel like you're needing to like what this for a pencil book is like keep it to like keep the goods to yourself here with the four of pencils, <laughs> especially with this love yourself first. Because I said in the beginning too, it's like um like don't forget your worth it's like just because somebody's coming back around saying they want to work on something that don't mean anything it's almost like they're gonna have to prove to you um that they really do want to work on some things clarify give your relationship a chance
Okay, we got the Queen of Pentacles here. Oh, I'm seeing it too where... Ooh, okay. So Sagittarius, for like if you're a female, you could be going, like you could be having some financial issues, right? It's like maybe you've been on a budget or like um, trying to save some money here. I feel like the masculine energy energy here is giving somebody like trying to offer somebody some money here. Cause we got this Queen of Pentacles. Somebody could be doing the herb sign here, but. That's what I got when that Queen of Pentacles came out. It's like they want to work on a partnership here. But it's like they, maybe they have something here to offer or to give with this Page of Pentacles. Yeah. But there could have been some type of hurt here in the past because we got the Wheel of Fortune here too. Clarify work on your partnership. Yeah, somebody, I feel like somebody could be wanting commitment with someone here. So we got justice here. That came out. Somebody could be dealing with a Libra. But I feel like somebody wants to make some things right with somebody too. What's this for? Pentacles? Yeah. Um, we got the high priestess that came in. So you're definitely, I feel like this is like use your intuition here too. Cause I feel like somebody could be like want to get somebody like by the, like I don't even know how to explain this, but <laughs> they want to spend some time, right? But I feel like you're needing to keep some things to yourself because I'm seeing, like, we got the um the temperance here at the bottom of the deck. So this is Sagittarius energy right here. But also, too, I'm seeing it as a reconciliation. But it's like um Sagittarius, like, use your intuition here and, like, keep the goods, like, to yourself if you're a female, Yeah, because we got judgment here, too. I feel like this is, like, a really big decision here um, for somebody here, too, to work on some type of partnership. What's this page of pentacles? Because when that love yourself first comes out, it's like, a, I feel like it's more so, I mean, it could be a, a male or a female, but it's like you just knowing your worth. Like, you have respect for yourself. Like, you know your worth, too. And it's like, that makes you attractive here. What's the um, Page of Pentacles? Okay, so we got the King of Wands. Yeah, somebody wants to come in with an um, opportunity here, too. But I'm also, too, seeing, like, a new relationship. Like, somebody could be wanting to offer somebody like a a new relationship but it's like it feel like somebody you already done like you already dealt with because it says give your relationship a chance it's like work on a partnership so i do um it could be a um so it could be you sagittarius here if you're a male like if you resonate with the masculine energy here and also too like you could be dealing with another fire sign because the king of wands came out yeah Somebody definitely wants to work some things out. And I feel like they're coming in with an offer here. But it's like... Don't forget the respect that you have for yourself here. Which... Okay, I lost the card. I don't know how I ended up stepping on the card. But um, the Knight of Wands came out. I don't feel like bending down to pick up this card because it's where it's at underneath my table. But the Knight of Wands came out, right? Now, you could have, um, someone could have left here like in the past. 
this person could also be like in and out too with the knight of wands coming out but we got the eight of wands here too at the bottom of the deck and this is sagittarius energy too with the eight of wands so somebody's definitely coming towards somebody here with the offer or there's like some going to be some type of communication but look we got the two of the two of swords so it's like somebody needs time to think here about this situation and um listen to your intuition here too I feel like somebody needs to, um, who's ever receiving the offer, don't give into the situation too, too quick. That's what I'm seeing. So I'm going to pull some Oracle cards for you. Give me one for Sagittarius. Yeah, change in direction, speak your truth. So either you or another person could be wanting to speak their truth here. Cause like some things happened in the past here. There was there was definitely hurt here. Somebody got hurt in the past, but we got change in direction. So either you or another another person um changed their direction here, but um I feel like you're moving forward, Sagittarius. I feel like you're going to speak your truth here to this person and like move on. Give me one more for Sagittarius. Yeah, worry not. Be your most authentic self. I feel like this came out in your general reading too. It's like you guys um have been going through a lot of changes here. It's like you change some way. Like you're not this. You're um, this person doesn't know the new you, or they don't have access to the new you. Um, and we got worry not. So yeah, some some of you guys could be worried here about a situation. Who's ever needs to make a decision about someone? So I'm gonna pull some more oracle cards. I'm pulling from um, this Kipper deck. Kipper. So let's see. Clarify, love yourself first. Clarify, love yourself first. Yeah, we got gifts. See, somebody's coming in with something here. But it's like they're coming up as the death card. So somebody could be could have been dealing with the Scorpio. But it's like they're coming up like not as something old. Like they're trying to like give life to like a new, um, like they just want the connection back. Like they want a new beginning here. But um, yeah, somebody's coming in with a gift here. Clarify, honeymoon. false person see somebody wants to um talk to you well somebody wants to have a conversation here we got family room but we got false person that came out honeymoon see i feel like i feel like it's more so the masculine energy trying to get the feminine energy like alone or it's like in a like get some like a long time because they they want them back are they trying to come in with the offer Clarify, give your relationship a chance. So we got sudden, yeah, somebody's coming in with some money here. We got sudden wealth. And just because his car came out, I mean, because like all money is not good money here. But with false person coming out with the sudden wealth, it's like they're coming in with money. But it's like they're not being honest. And look, we got great fortune and coffin, yeah. For some of you guys, it's like you need to go ahead and nail this. Well, just like go ahead and um close out this cycle with this person. Like speak your truth or be honest here about the situation. Give me one more 
for Sagittarius for this spread. Give me one more. Give me one more for Sagittarius. I'm trying to get one more before my camera dies. I mean, not dies, but like um, before it ends. Yeah, message. So yeah, somebody's about to get a message here from somebody. So I'm going to end the reading right here. Hopefully it resonated with someone. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.